HP. Yay. Better than nothing. Okay. Uh, I uh, okay. So I assess uh, the um, Ragnar's wounds. Does he look like he's in critical condition, or is he still kicking good? Uh, he looks hurt, not dead or dying. Well, is he still on the ground or what? Uh, he's still on the <laughs> ground, but he's not like dying. He just fell gonna, over after the hit, but he can still go. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try to do the same thing I did before and stab at his uh, arm, holding his axe to try to make him drop it. If you're rapier. Yeah. yeah. Ho ho. <laughs> do your dexterity. Do not roll damage. Damn. Well, with all these sevens. Ragnar, you can defy the dangers. Yeah. So let's see. Laying on the ground. How am I gonna kind of get roll him? Away. I guess uh, just roll yeah, away towards the other guards that are all surrounding you. They've um, all been so feet scared of him, and none of them have tried to hit him <laughs> thus far. Lick, lift your feet up and kick him in the balls. Um, actually, I'd like to do kind of a sweep kick and try to knock him off off of his feet. Bring him down to your level. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just to dex time for check. some ta- time for some ground and pound. Some ton. Oh, some mud wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to both be wearing bikinis. <laughs> okay. Dang it. No. Nope. All right, Halsting, roll your damage twice. Uh, okay, so, four, five, six. Yeah, four. No, I'm, j- I'm joking. It's four damage. Just do the four. And uh, uh, you, one hit him, goes you hit him. Three damage, it should be. Yeah, it should be three. Um, You do hit him, uh, but not quite where you run it, since it's only a seven and nine. Uh, but you do damage. You got him. You got him pretty good. So, three damage to you, total. Yeah. Is that piercing? Any of yeah, that piercing? piercing. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm telling you how much damage would go through uh, through your armor and stuff. So three, damage, three damage, three damage. I already did okay, the armor calculation. Okay, yep. gotcha. Gotcha. All right, everybody. That is everyone that is gone, except for the NPCs, who will now begin the killing. Okay. Uh, Mogum, uh, the two axe dudes behind you, <laughs> the, the, like, dudes in the leather trousers with the axes and the swords, yeah, they start two. running up to you, and they're just going to start wildly swinging at you just really quickly, just, just everywhere. The axes, swords, just everywhere. Just to remind you guys, you you guys weren't the wanted people. You they literally, they, yeah, just, you guys weren't wanted. Yet you uh, still gonna, fight. You, gonna, realize that, you realize that we, I mean, we can metagame, but we don't know that, right? You understand we don't oh, know I, I've told that. you multiple times. I told you once before you rage, and then after so, you rage twice. So, so you're the commander of this army, right? Am I, right? You're the commander of this army, Halstein? Shut up. No. Okay, it's, it's Mogum's turn. Stop interrupting him, Halstein. No, but I, I screamed at you. that. Bob, uh, that shut the roll. fuck up. No one cares. <clears throat> Fingers on Sorry, what? Uh, Mogum? I'm gonna um, try and just, just before they attack, see if I can just um, use my sword to just swipe like into them both before they attack me. Alright, don't roll anything, just roll 2d6s, but nothing else. And don't roll any stats. Okay. Um, as they charge towards you about to swing, suddenly you feel the ground tremble. Uh, and cracks begin to form in the earth beneath you. Uh, uh, the men who are charging towards you suddenly start to slow down as you approach. Uh, and, and then they look around, and suddenly the ground starts to give way, and the dirt sort of becomes its own uh, sinkhole, and they start to sneak sink beneath the earth. And suddenly... The moon in the sky disappears as well, and everything is black except for the fires lit by the tents. The moon is gone, and suddenly the wind is howling, and you can only see a couple of feet in front of you as suddenly a snowstorm kicks in out of nowhere. You can't see anything, and no one around you can see anything either. So no one can see anything? You can you can see the people <clears throat> literally directly next to you, but all of them seem to uh, they stop fighting. And lower their weapons as the snowstorm comes in. So are those two now sunk in the ground? Oh yeah, those guys are. They're going to come beneath there if they're probably dead. Yeah, yeah. You don't see them. Uh. Uh, you hear the sound of howling wolves in the distance as well. Okay, if any of you want to go right now, you can do so out of order. 
Okay, I'm What's gonna, going on? Uh, just with the chance, uh, I'm going to attack this guard. Uh, and, which one? Uh, that one, sorry, I didn't click properly. As, as you do so, uh, <laughs> he starts to run into the distance through the snowstorm. Do you want to keep attacking him? You see, oh, uh, some of the other guards are also turning and running through into the woods. I'm I'm just gonna like wh whichever guards closest to me. I'm just gonna attack them. <coughs> uh, do strength check. Okay. This one here is a little slow. Okay, do damage. Okay. Okay, yes. describe to me how you kill him. Okay, uh, j I just straight up just like. Chop his head straight off. Okay. Just chop yeah, his head off. Yeah, I just chop his head straight off. Favorite mode of yeah, uh, what? Well, actually, no, no, okay, I'm going to change it. What I do is I slice across his eyes, pull my fist up to his face, and just pull them out and just kind of yell. <laughs> Into the empty sockets? Yeah. No, just <laughs> yell. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna scream, Hrothgar, run! And I'm sort of start running that way. But what is uh, going on? Normally, as I say, sound, the sounds of the battlefield begin to die down. Going after Holstein. I truly don't know what's going on. All of you can mostly just hear the howling of the wind and uh, of the wolves. Yeah, you just, just, you just hear me it. say, nope, 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 and start running in the, uh, that direction. Alright, well, okay, Ragnar, did you want to do anything? Halsey apparently is going to start running into the woods. I, I wanted to chase down... You can see everyone around you. you. Everyone can see barely around you. The snowstorm's really thick. You can see a couple of other faint figures also running into the woods. I follow after Holstein, mainly going after his voice and like shouting, like, but, but what's going on? Shit, it's going down! He screams in the distance, the screams of men. The screams of men in agony. Oh. Can I, 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 bitches I, get stitches. Can I, can I see the old man? The old man? Oh, yeah, I you, wanna... see, you see him running towards the west. Yeah, can I chase him down and kill him? Okay, you want to chase him down through the snowstorm? Yeah, I can run pretty fast. Okay. Yeah, wait, so in the direction I was running towards, was uh, there egg, uh, screams going from coming from there? The screams are coming from all around the camp. You can only see <laughs> about five to ten feet in front of you. There's just screams going all around. There's, like, there's, like people... there's wolves howling, the wind, uh, and you can hear a couple of screaming, dying men. Because Ragnar was... I, I actually tell Hrothgar, we have to stand our ground. Something's coming over here. We, we, I don't think what we can, I don't know what we can do. Because Ragnar was 10 feet away from me, would I have been able to see him when he ran away? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Just what the hell, and I start furiously thinking if I ever heard in Legends or something anything about that. Like this situation, like yeah. what the hell? Yeah, I, I asked Rothgar for a quick heal. You know, a quickie. <laughs> I just asked for a quickie. A quickie mile. Probably second. I just start singing. But this time with grey voice. Uh, in the middle of the snowstorm, the dead of the night, standing against a no fall, let this song be of help of you or something. I'm not good with rhymes. Let this song do shit. I, I silently say, is, is this R Ragnarok? <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for the heal, mate. Thanks, and mine. Hey, dice, I don't control the dice. Alright. Uh, can I roll intelligence to see if I know what this is? Why this What's is happening? What's happening right now? Yeah, I'm also yeah. trying to f think if I ever heard uh, anything about something. Let the Bard something. go first. Alright, Bard, what are you using to try and figure this stuff out, specifically? You gonna use your... My your knowledge and or? legends that I heard in my life. Okay. So I'm guessing... So, what did you take as Bardic lore, really quick? Just so I can see what you've studied. Uh, le okay, so that's Legends of Heroes Past. Okay, that might help you. Uh, yeah, just do an intelligence roll. Uh-huh. No. Uh, what did you roll? Let's see. Hey, so I think you can tell me something interesting, but... Okay, um... 
You uh, you didn't hear this in a bar. Actually, um, when you were a small child, uh, you remember hearing from one of your priests uh, who preached to you. Um, he, he wouldn't do this very frequently. Uh, most of the people of your religion aren't, you know, they're not firebrands. They don't really curse you to any kind of hell or anything like that. Uh, but one of one of the priests one day would uh, just came to your door and described to you uh, why you should be afraid of the dead. Uh, he told you that in the night, in years to come, when there would be a long winter, the earth would rise, and that uh, unearthly figures would come to haunt the souls of men. <clears throat> So the dead people are going to become alive again. Well, Shut up, Joe! You don't know anything. The dead, the monsters, uh, several evil Shit, creatures. Shit! This sounds like this a world. fucking Armageddon stuff. So I just like I can consider. Can I see if I remember anything? I just Real pale quick. and I start whispering, "The dead are coming. The dead are coming." Uh -huh. can I, do I, can I roll for see if I know anything about this? You know, back in my days. <laughs> sure. Uh, and tell us to check. Yeah. Uh, you would have probably heard a couple of other priests <laughs> mention this. Uh, you don't have a written book of tales or anything. Uh, no, but I, I, I had superstitious uh, father and mother, man. Sure. Anyway, point being is, what you know of these tales is that it only happens after a year of winter. First, there would be a year of winter. After that, the sun would disappear. And then there would be a year of constant warfare, and uh, eldritch creatures from the other life would pour into this world. Say so it hasn't been a year that yet, though. What? Well, there has been one year. Don't know about that other one. I say, mm. I, I say to Hrothgar, grab him by the shoulders. I say, this is the end. We'll see you on the other side. Anyway, let's get into something my... interesting. Ragnar's chasing an old man through a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ragnar. Uh, you Very corner good. him. You corner him as he, uh, you see he falls over. As he's running away from you, he falls over into the snow. And you see he's just collapsed and he's just exhausted. Uh, you hear what sounds like uh, the howl of uh, some creature, some wolf uh, nearby. As you approach him on the ground. Also, you're not on the ground anymore. Let me take that away. You're standing I wonder over. what happened to Yuri. Okay. Okay. Right now? Yeah. What are you doing? So, is he just kind of helpless, laying on the ground? No, uh, he's just, just exhausted, fell over into the snow, and he's turned around and he <laughs> sees you. Just, you know, the, the big burly man coming out of the snow with a huge axe. Old man sitting there in the snow, what do you do? Has he got a weapon in his hand or anything? No. Actually, he was running away from you earlier. So I raise up my axe and get ready to... Um, and then I just... Stop. And... The rage just starts to kind of... Drain out of me. And... Um, I just kind of turn around. And Suddenly, as you lower your axe, he... Stands up and lunges towards you, trying to tackle you to the ground. <laughs> Out of all of the possible moments, god damn it. Alright, are you gonna try to dodge this or something? <laughs> um. He's an old man, so just trying to powerful. You know what, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just try to, uh, use my shield and body just to kind of, uh, push him push back. Him, push him away, yeah. Okay, just do strength. I've lost the desire to fight him. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, you just push him off to the side, and suddenly, um, coming from the woods, uh, you push him off to the side, he falls back over, and suddenly a very large, uh, mm, boar like boar like creature uh, comes trundling through the snow, charging at you with its tusks bared ahead of it. Uh, it's about four times the size of you. Uh, yeah, and it just starts trundling towards you. Uh, 
What do you do? <sighs> Suddenly I have no more rage powers, do I? Um, uh, you would have only lost one, because you lose one every time, not all of them at the same time. So just lose one. Oh, okay, so I would have lost... Uh, By the way, it looks like this... My... What the fuck is this? I would have lost my... Um, uh, enemies fear me. Okay. Um... <laughs> yeah, this How much is just... time do I have? Do I, do I have time to expend the balance that I accumulated? By... Uh, yeah, it's magic. You can pretty much do it instantly. All right, so okay. I have at least three, so I'm going to do that. All on you or? On me, yes, yes. Okay, just roll three times. Okay, get six health back. So is that what you're going to do while this thing is charging towards you? or Bob, you're going to time out. <laughs> What? Me? What did oh, I do? You're going in timeout. I yeah. didn't do anything. I'm now in timeout. I, sw I swear to fucking right. god. Got both of you. Both of you in timeout. Barnaby, if you don't fucking switch me, I'm just gonna leave the game. Shut up, nerd. Nerd. Actually, now you said that, I'm gonna put you back in timeout. Alright, anyway. It's Ragnar. <laughs> so, is it gonna run me through if I don't do something else? Uh, you can, yeah, you can try to do something, <laughs> so just take it, this is the big dude, oh, but oh. I said dude, it's not really a dude, it's more like a creature. Yeah, it's a big boar. Um, it's like the size, it's bigger than a horse, right? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, quite bigger than a horse. Uh, does it look like if I could dive out of the way, I, I wouldn't have enough room to do that? Uh, yeah, you could. You won't see okay. what you're diving into, but you can. Right. So, I guess that's what a dex roll? Oh, uh, yeah. Dex roll. Okay. Uh, you can dodge down on top of the old man, like falling onto him, or you can stand on your ground. Oh, he probably has some kind of dagger he's going to stick in my neck if I fall down on him. Um, I'm going to fall down on him as hard as I can. Okay. I just want to point out he's trying <laughs> to talk you out of the way of the beast. Okay, you land on top of him and crush him to death. <laughs> he's dying. Well, I'm on climb out room. Okay, he's dead. Really? Dead old man. Okay. I don't want to be in the timeout room. You don't want to be in the time area? Okay. I'll the let you quest out. of Ragnar to Maybe. kill the old oh. man finally completed. <laughs> he had to like uh. body slam him to death. Okay, yeah, the boar uh, charges past you through the snow, and you hear it continue uh, after that. But you still hear more creatures, strange noises, and strange creatures uh, howling in the distance. <laughs> Okay, so can somebody cut? Yeah, anybody can cut in right now. Yeah, so Support obviously there is like a Wait, so we can we we can hear that then the like, I can. Oh hear yeah, you can hear all this shit. You can hear the fucking weird beast running around. Although he's the only one who's seen one so far. Okay, I'm gonna uh, run up to where I can hear like whatever the sound of the beast is, and I'm gonna uh, on saying it, I'm gonna stab it. You're gonna stab it? Yeah. From behind, though. <laughs> it's facing you. Yeah, oh, it, it was charging you. this way. Oh, uh, okay, so then I'll... Go. Now he's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try and run up next to it and see if I can, like, hit it from the side. Okay, sure. Uh, do a check. Okay. Uh, find my character. Okay, I accidentally... I left a bit ago because my mouse broke, so... Sorry, I've got to find my character sheet again. Okay, uh, it's gonna hit you back. Okay. okay. Do you want to defy the danger, or he's gonna take the hit? Mm, take a hit and deal with damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do your damage. Okay. Yes. So, the, so you, you hit it square right across the chest, and it looks like it's almost okay. about to die. 
Because um, it's a brutal the board thing. creature turns around and uh, Wait, it's, can it's, it just, oh yeah, sorry. Can yeah. he use dishonor before death? And uh, what I've done is I've uh, broken, like I've like severed one of its legs off. I'm pretty sure you didn't do that. Yeah, I can do it because, like, when oh, I strike brutally, fiercely, or mercilessly, you attack against the messy tag. I can cause. cause but did damage. you strike brutally, or did you just kind of hit it in its general area without describing what like you did? You admit it. I hit it from the side like that. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Think a little more. Maybe next time, say like I start trying to peel off his fucking skin. Okay, like, I'll describe. It. I'll describe <laughs> it next time. Explain in detail how you take okay, his right eyeballs and him. gouge them out with your thumbs. I went next to him, and I just, like, straight up just dug my sword into him and ran dragging anyway, my sword through him. the big creature's gonna it. take all of his huge head with all the spikes and the horns on it, and he's just gonna start thrashing it around at you. Okay. He does that much damage. GG. Uh, that's... Uh, is any of that piercing? No. No piercing. Okay. One, two, three, four, four... Oh, fuck. He's not trying to charge at you, so he's just kind of swinging on the side of them. Can't stab you. Hey, wait, so is it still charging that way then as well? Yeah, it is. It just kind of turned its head around to swing at you as you Oh, okay. It. Yeah, so it couldn't stab okay. you. Basically, it's just knocking off to the side. Also, actually, in fact, it's a strong beast. It's forceful. It actually knocks you back a bit. I'm an orc. Yeah, but it's a giant beast, man. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Fucking Buts, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna make sure it's damages on there. You did... six. No, sorry, not six. You did seven. Okay. So suddenly through the snowstorm I see the silhouette of uh, Mogum appearing yeah. or somebody like... Yeah, you see him. He's right next to you. Yeah, you because yeah, right now we are just... Next. I was standing like back to back with Holstein because he said that this is like our last stand because like, what my intuition is telling me, is it worth to, like, try to get out of here and try to run towards the city, or are we truly fucked? Uh, I don't know about that, but before you do anything, uh, you see the faint outline of another creature uh, to the northwest of you, and it looks like it uh, is quite a few feet taller than you. And it looks like a very broad-shouldered figure. <clears throat> Wait, is that northwest? That's northwest, that one. Yep, that one. Yep. It's getting very close to you. You can see its silhouette approaching. It, it walks with a hunch. Yeah. Uh... It has very long arms which <clears throat> reach down from its shoulder down to its feet. Okay, so I just... Uh, uh, like, with a grim look on my face, like, I'm, I, like we are fucked. I just say to Mogo, we, we fought as enemies, but against this, we might as well die as brothers or something. And I just start chanting very sorrowful, sad song about fall, uh, warriors, their determination, and try to heal Mogum. So you were singing about Ragnar? Probably. Okay, so I heal 1d8. The main target was Mogum, and you choose DM. What's the uh, <coughs> what's the? Uh... Uh, it reverberates to the strange-looking tall green creature, which has just emerged from the snow. Okay, fun. Yeah, um, slowly making its way toward you. Okay, I just stand my ground with like one. Uh, with, in one hand, I have uh, my this this sword that I have, uh, which is my signature weapon, and on another I have a horn, and I just like I'm prepared to face. All right, how's it? Um, you know what? I think I think. Oh yeah, he, he's gone. Yeah. I think he's gone. I think he okay, did what he said that he's gonna leave. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, what about you, Mogum? Holstein left? 
Yeah, I think he left. Yeah. Is he not on the call? No, he's left the call. Oh. Yeah. Um, how are we right, gonna then. throw a guard spear that I've got in my inventory at the big green thing aiming for its head? You're gonna throw a big, a green spear at a big green man? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, just do a dex. No, actually do strength. Oh, well, okay. Uh, that's dex. Oh, just add strength modifier. What is it? Uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll do it with strength. It's this fine. I can change okay. that bro. That's strength. Okay. One better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So it hits him square into the chest. Uh, you can either reduce oh, the damage. Space. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, you don't aim good enough, man. You missed. Okay, you missed him and hit the bigger part. <laughs> okay, it's okay, fine. Um, yeah, you can lose 1d6 damage, or you can just uh, put yourself in danger. Uh, Lose 1d6 damage. Okay, really damage? Hmm. Connection to the server has been interrupted. Okay, I'm gonna try to. You hear me, yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna try to read out the page because something fucked up and I don't see the new roles. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy using yours. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so you do five damage to it. Uh, the spear sticks into the creature and makes it all the way onto the other side. Uh, uh, and then you see uh, he pulls the spear out with one of his long arms. Or his hands, rather. Uh... And then you see slowly that his skin starts to weave back together. And he just roll. Yeah, and he start and he continues marching toward you. Now we need the fireball. <laughs> He's gone. There's Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> he abandoned. Yuri, fuck. Yuri's uh, somewhere out in the snowstorm, but he's invisible, luckily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but now there's a snowstorm, we can see him, like, because the snow would be, like, settling on his invisible body. It probably just looked like a bunch of snow moving in a snowstorm. Yeah. Well, no, it looked like a bunch of, like, still snow moving in a... I'm gonna go make some yellow snow real quick, hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we can track him, just make a bunch of yellow snow and see if it moves around. <laughs> just throw it He's out. He's gone. He's, like, already back in his evil lair already. All right, Hrothgar. <laughs> You did for it. the for ah I I yeah I did my action so I didn't know if. I okay, Troll man's gonna come forward and he's going to start swiping at all three of you at once with his long arms. Okay, so I will just like try to crouch down, like position myself that one leg behind, and I'd like try to f f dig in myself to the ground, pull out the sword with both hands. I just drop the horn and I just try to. Uh, hold out when he tries to push his attack on me. Just hold out with my... Stop it dead with my sword. Okay, do me strength check. Okay. 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 Um, you can... Uh, you decide it's better not to try and fight him and you can just duck under it. <laughs> And let the other two be hit square across the faces. <laughs> or you can... Uh...